Hello crafty friends, we're on today for a quick project share for Pink Bubble Cards Alphabet Challenge and this week's prompt was A for Acetate and we decided to use up some of the items from our stash and we had this luxury shaker kit that we received as part of our prize from the lovely Dee Dee's Craft. You might have seen that video, if not you can have a look back and see the amazing prize that we won. So we decided to use this card and the acetate that came with it to make a see-through front acetate Christmas card and it's also a shaker. So when you look at it from the front, it looks like you're looking into someone's home and you've got the fireplace and the candles and the brick wall. And when you open the card up, it's like the inside view looking out with the little cat all warm and toasty and this one we have used some lovely iridescent sequins and if you look closely you can see Santa's sleigh just zooming past in the distance and we've just stuck a die cut here with season's greetings and space to write your message and that's a super easy card to make you just take your piece of acetate and just score it at an extra inch and cut a piece of card the same size and attach it and to attach it we just use the crafters companion roller tape and there you have it a lovely see-through shaker window acetate card and we've used the acetate for the card blank itself and to make the shaker windows and while we had that kit out we decided to make another shaker card and this one is a fancy fold card as we are part of the fancy fold challenge there's a facebook group as well i can leave some links it's really fun and this one was inspired by the week that we done joy folds so it folds you've got the shaker element on front with the nice christmas tree image and then this flips out and we have a little fold out gatefold part here and it stands up like that something different and again using the acetate and on the back we just use some of the papers and the die cuts and it's got the sentiment from our home to yours so this year we're trying to use up all our crafty stash and hopefully get organized in time for christmas and this one we've used these stunning iridescent sequins and just used the die cut and just a simple stamp that says Merry Christmas from our stash and we've used our corner punch to cut out the corners of the card insert for you to write your message on with the season's greetings so we made a few of that design using the different backgrounds that came in the kit and some of this uh, glitter and sequins from our stash and we try to coordinate the background to the colour of ink and just put the inserts inside them. And here's another one using some of the scrap papers. So that's our make this week for A for Acetate. And Acetate is a really fun and diverse medium to use. If you check Hilary's channel out, she discusses a number of ways that you can use Acetate. And we've had fun using acetate in the past and we'd just like to share some tips if you're using acetate. It can be very hard to hide your adhesive and I would recommend that you used a tape runner or red liner tape as it does get, give you a very strong bond. And if you're trying to die cut acetate, if you're using a Gemini machine, if you add a metal shim or an extra piece of cardstock, it can help cut your acetate. It looks beautiful embossed as Hilary says and it's also really nice stamped and embossed. If you're going to stamp it you'll need to use stays on ink or a permanent archival ink. We've only had success with stays on and if you want to in heat emboss it you'll need to use a heat proof acetate or else it will just melt. And you can let us know in the comment section below have you ever made a see-through card or a card blank using acetate are you a fan of shaker cards 
and what one of our designs for the Christmas cards are your favourite and we can't wait to see if you're joining in let us know below and until next time thanks for watching and happy crafting